Hey guys, it's Barb. I heard a quote yesterday. I'm gonna just read it to you. No one will ever have more of me than I have of myself. As a recovered, recovering people pleaser, this is kind of a brand new way of thinking for me that no one will ever have more of me than I have of myself. So that I get to walk into every situation, not even calling back my power, but not giving it away in the first place. Can you imagine the freedom of walking into every situation, absolutely sovereign, absolutely autonomous, absolutely accountable, and absolutely open? What power, what openness, what joy might that be, might that bring, and might that bring to all of mankind that interacts. Wow. I don't know why I didn't see it before, but I've been sitting with it and really meditating on it. I'll read it again. No one will ever, ever have more of me than I have of myself. So as I'm doing this adventure of self-discovery, as I'm actually pulling back the rug and looking at the things I have dusted under it for all of these 40 years, I'm seeing whole new sides of me. I'm seeing whole new personalities of myself, facets of myself, introspections, introspections, upperspections, downsrespections. And it's really, really amazing the discovery that I'm finding. And I'm finding more and more and more of me, pulling back my inner child, pulling back my inner warrior, pulling back all those rejected parts of myself that weren't good or weren't proper or weren't appropriate, right? And I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going to have me, all of me, even the parts that I don't really like and even the parts that my mother says are bad. I'm still going to have them and I'm still going to love them and I'm still going to integrate them and I'm still going to hold them as my own sovereign self. It feels so free. Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow.